In 1968, Dr. Shinya successfully developed the technique of colonoscopy in order to visualize the entire rectum and colon. The following year, in 1969, he devised a snare cautery device and was the first to perform colonic polypectomy through the colonoscope. He has performed approximately 300,000 colonoscopic examinations and has noted that there appears to be a strong connection between intestinal appearance and lifestyle-related diseases. This video depicts a variety of different intestinal views, good and poor, related to various colonic and other diseases. He emphasizes the importance of lifestyle and healthy eating habits, which are critical to longevity and maintaining optimal health. This is a 45-year-old female. Her intestine is very soft, easily inflated by air, well-rounded without any residual stool or mucus abnormality. She has been on Dr. Shinya's diet for over five years. 75-year-old female. She has been on Dr. Shinya's diet for over 30 years. Some fecal mucus is noted in this picture, which implies she needs to drink more kangen water daily. This is a 47-year-old Caucasian female who has been obese almost her entire life. Her diet consists of high animal proteins with very low carbohydrates and minimal vegetables and fruits for the past three years. Recently, she developed left low abdominal cramps and frequent bowel movements. She was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. This is a 52-year-old Caucasian male. His diet is a typical American-style diet of two glasses of milk, three to four ounces of cottage cheese, and a cup of yogurt daily. His cholesterol level is normal with cholesterol-lowering medication, and his blood pressure is high. His prostate is moderately enlarged. This picture shows marked colonic spasm and diverticulosis. This is a 65-year-old male who has been on a typical American-style diet consisting of at least 60 to 70 percent animal protein. He suffers from high blood pressure with an enlarged prostate. There are numerous diverticular openings. This is a 47-year-old female. Here is a single large diverticulum of the right colon in which a one centimeter stool is impacted. This is a 60-year-old Caucasian male with a congenital varicose veins in the colon. There are no known enlarged veins in other organs or parts of the body. He has been on a high animal diet consisting of large amounts of cheese, yogurt, and a glass of milk a day with red meat approximately four times a week for the past three years. On this examination, he was found to have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, with a moderately enlarged prostate. Colonoscopy showed these congenital varicose veins, as the picture shows on a three-year follow-up colonoscopy, Examination revealed a small and very early carcinoma of the cecum located over the mucosa of a prominent varicose vein. This is a 38-year-old Japanese woman who has been suffering from chronic constipation for many years. Her diet consists heavily of a Western-type menu, including white bread, yogurt, cheese, fruits, and cake once a day. She consumes three to four cups of coffee and tea a day. There was insufficient daily intake of water. She has been on various kinds of laxative every day, including Seneca, Alloy, and other herbal medications for years. There are marked pigmentation and spasm. This is the same Japanese woman. She was instructed to drink kangen water three quarts per day. Her diet consists of 90% grains, vegetables, sea vegetables, and fruits, and 10% animal protein with fish. Her condition has markedly improved. 
45-year-old female with breast cancer. Six months prior to this exam, she had a lumpectomy and radiation treatment. There are marked fecal retention in this picture. The same patient following Dr. Shinya's diet started to drink three quarts of Kangen water a day. Her condition markedly improved. This patient has been suffering from prostatic CA, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. His diet consists of high protein, red meat, and dairy products every day. His colon shows narrowing and some diverticular disease and fecal retention in each segment of the colon. Same patient after prostate cancer surgery. He was placed on Dr. Shinya's healthy diet program. Although the colon revealed marked diverticular disease, his colonic appearance has improved. There is no evidence of stool retention or narrowing of the colon. This 62-year-old male had been on a typical American diet with daily consumption of red meat, milk, and cheese. This picture shows multiple diverticular openings with impacted fecal matter. He had advanced heart disease, markedly enlarged prostate, and arthritis of the legs and fingers. This is a 21-year-old Japanese male who has been suffering from marked inflammation and ulceration of the distal part of the small intestine. This is typical Crohn's disease of the small intestine. He has been suffering from frequent diarrhea and abdominal cramps for several months. Despite his dislike for milk, he was encouraged to drink milk by his parents and at his school lunches. The endoscopic view shows various size mucosal ulcerations. This is a 72-year-old Caucasian female who came in with a sudden onset of abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colonoscopy showed a marked narrow, swollen, inflamed, discolored, and hemorrhagic mixture with necrotic areas. This is a typical appearance of ischemic colitis. This condition can develop through disturbance of the arterial circulation of colonic walls adjacent to blood vessels. The patient has known arteriosclerosis, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Her diet is a typical American diet with a heavy intake of red meat, chicken, and high intake of dairy products. This patient had radiation treatment for treatment of uterine cancer. As the picture shows, the mucosa of the rectum and colon is markedly hemorrhagic, edematous with capillary vessel abnormalities of the mucous membranes. Her diet consists of heavy daily consumption of cottage cheese for many years. Here is a 74-year-old Caucasian male. On colonoscopy examination revealed a polyp approximately one and a half centimeter with an irregular surface and a heavy stem. Endoscopically, this was a typical early cancer of the polyp. The patient also has diverticulosis and fecal retention of the colon. He was a heavy beef eater and suffered from chronic constipation. The patient also complained of an enlarged prostate, heart ailments, and high blood pressure. This pedunculated polyp was excised with Dr. Shinya's near cautery device. He has performed this type of polypectomy in 80,000 patients without significant complications. One hour after polypectomy, the patient was allowed to go home with instructions to avoid anticoagulants such as aspirin and bufferin. This 56-year-old Caucasian male had a very flat polyp. Shown here near the large and small bowel junction. This patient has been suffering from high blood pressure and an enlarged prostate. His diet consists of dairy products, including milk, one quart a day, cheese, 
yogurt, and meat every day. His intent was to stay on a low-carb diet to induce weight loss. Since humans have five pairs molars, one pair canine, and two pair front teeth, this implies we should eat five grains and beans, one animal, two vegetables and fruits, which is 85% plant diet and 15% animal. Therefore, we should not eat high animal protein diet. He also has a strong family history of colonic cancer. His parents had cancerous colonic polyps in their 60s. There was also an insufficient amount of water intake on a daily basis. He was instructed to start Dr. Shinya's healthy diet by eating large amounts of grains, vegetables, fruits, and drink about two to three quarts of kangen water. This polyp is approximately two and a half centimeter in size and flat in appearance. Therefore, the polyp was excised in a piecemeal fashion in order to avoid perforation of the inner wall of the intestine. After sufficient excision of the polyp, some residual polyp tissue located at the edges of the resected site were cauterized to secure the complete destruction of the remaining colonic polyp. This is a 45-year-old Japanese male complaining of rectal bleeding of two months duration during a colonoscopic examination. A large ulcerating cancer is detected in the lower sigmoid colon. There was a heavy intake of red meat in his diet and he was approximately 30 pounds overweight. He was placed on Dr. Shinya's diet including kangen water. Two weeks after the colonoscopy, the patient was operated on. This 65-year-old female with chronic constipation had breast cancer surgery and was referred for colonoscopy. Examination showed marked stool retention in many areas of the colon despite two days of preparation. The same patient was treated with a typical Dr. Shinya's diet and one quart of kangen water one hour before each meal. Examination was repeated in three months. There was marked improvement in the colon. This patient had been a heavy wine drinker with a heavy animal protein diet, including cheese. After three months treatment, the patient was treated with Dr. Shinya's diet without any alcohol, dairy, and animal protein. He was given one quart of kangen water and his condition improved. This is an 80-year-old Caucasian female who had a 6 to 7 centimeter size Y-based polyp. The polyp appeared to be somewhat precancerous on the head portion of the polyp. The base area was quite benign in appearance, and it was decided to excise the polyp with Dr. Shinya's snare cautery in order to avoid major abdominal surgery. Polypectomy was performed by piecemeal fashion. Piecemeal excision on this type of polyp requires lots of experience and expertise. As long as the polyp does not appear to be cancerous, Dr. Shinya's snare cautery method can safely remove polyps without major abdominal surgery. However, it requires a highly experienced endoscopist to safely and successfully perform this procedure. Usually polyps greater than 2 cm in size in Japan harbor early precancerous or cancerous elements. 
polyps of this size are rare in Japan. This may be due to lesser amount of minerals in Japanese soil. Minerals such as calcium may provide protection against the growth and subsequent cancerous change of these types of polyps. Patients with large polyps must be monitored closely. These types of polyps may recur, so complete excision must be ensured. Sometimes repeated procedures over the course of several months are necessary to completely eradicate the polyp. Also, these patients are at high risk for developing other polyps in other areas of the colon. This patient consumes an Italian diet with large amounts of cheese, yogurt, refined white pasta, vegetables, and large amounts of olive oil. She was on several kinds of diabetic and heart medications, including anticoagulants for diabetes and chronic congestive heart disease. She was approximately 100 pounds overweight. Prior to polypectomy, the patient was advised to refrain from using aspirin, bufferin, and anticoagulants for seven days. After polypectomy, she was instructed to avoid anticoagulants for two more weeks. This is a picture of a somewhat flat polyp with a cobblestone appearance. This polyp was largely located from the anal rectal border to the junction of the rectum and sigmoid colon, which is approximately 12 centimeter in length. This polyp occupied two thirds of the entire rectum. She suffered from atrial fibrillation disease and high blood pressure for many years. She also had been complaining of occasional rectal bleeding for approximately six months prior to this examination. Before colonoscopy, she was examined by two proctologists who felt complete rectal anal removal with permanent colostomy was necessary due to the extensive spread of the polyp with possible development of malignancy. On colonoscopy exam, the polyp was completely benign in appearance and thought to be an aggregation of one to two centimeter polyps and technically easy to excise. Therefore, polypectomy was attempted. Multiple excision of the polyps were carried out by the use of Dr. Shinya's snare cautery device. The base area was coagulated widely with the tip of the snare cautery in order to safely manage minor residual bleeding. The total procedure time was 25 to 30 minutes. The patient was mildly sedated with Demerol and Versed. After treatment, one year follow-up examination revealed a well-healed polypectomy site with minimal scarring of the membrane. She was placed on Dr. Shinya's diet immediately after the initial polypectomy. She lost approximately 50 pounds within the one year post-operative period. In conclusion, in lifestyle-related diseases such as diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and various types of cancers are directly linked to your diet. If you eat a proper diet and drink good water, it will prevent you from being constipated and developing diseases. The stool is not stagnant, therefore toxic wastes are not accumulated in the bowels. You are what you eat and what you drink. I hope this video was educational for you. To your health, thank you. Dr. Shinya was born in 1968年に大腸全体を内視鏡で検査するコロノスコープの挿入技術を開発し、翌1969年には大腔にあるポリープを切除するためのスネアワイヤーを発明しました。そして世界で初めてコロノスコープによる大腸ポリープ切除の成功を収めました約 
腸内の状態つまり腸巣と健康状態および生活習慣病には深い相関関係があることに気づきましたこのビデオは良い腸巣と手術の生活習慣病になった患者の悪い腸巣の例を映像に収めたものですドクター深夜は健康で長寿になるためには生活習慣と水食生活排泄がいかに重要であるかを強調していますこれは45歳女性良い腸巣の例ですこの大腸は腸内も綺麗です腸は柔らかく空気の挿入によって容易に拡張されます。これは七十五歳女性です。この二十年間、ドクター深夜の指示を守り、玄米プラス五穀米、豊富なサラダと温野菜と海藻、朝食と夕食、三十分前に果物を食べます。動物食は魚を一日六十グラムから七十グラムです。